The story of the lost son from Luke 15. Jesus told a story about a boy who ran away. Once upon a time, there was a boy and his dad. Now one day, the boy gets to thinking, maybe if I didn't have my dad around telling me what is good for me all the time, I'd be happier. He's spoiling my fun, he thinks. Does my dad really want me to be happy? Does my dad really love me? The son never thought of that before, but suddenly he doesn't know anymore. So the son goes to his father and says, Dad, I'm better off without you. I can look after myself. Just give, just give me my share of your money. His father is sad, but he won't force his boy to stay. So he gives his son what he wants. The son takes the money and goes on a long, long journey to a far off country. And everything's wonderful and perfect for a while. He can go wherever he wants to. He wants. Do whatever he wants. Be whoever he wants. He is the boss. He is free. Sometimes he gets a strange, hungry, homesick feeling inside his heart. But then he just eats more, or drinks more, or buys more clothes. Or goes to more parties until it goes away. But soon his money runs out. And so do his friends. He ends up getting the only job he can find, feeding pigs. One day he is so hungry and so desperate, he even tries piggy food. What am I doing? He says suddenly, as if he has woken from a nightmare. He spits, yuck, all of it, ick, out of his mouth. My father is rich, and here I am, in a pigsty, eating piggy food. He wipes his mouth and jets himself off. I'm going home. As he starts for home, though, he begins to worry. Dad won't love me anymore. I've been too bad. He won't want me for his son anymore. So he practices his I'm sorry speech. All this time, what he doesn't know is that day after day, his dad has been standing on his porch, straining his eyes, looking into the distance, waiting for his son to come home. He just can't stop loving him. He longs for the sound of his boy's voice. He can't be happy until he gets him back. The son is still a long way off, but his dad sees him coming. What will the dad do? Fold his arms and frown, shout, that'll teach you, and you just wait, young man. No, that's not how the story goes. The dad leaps off the porch, races down the hill through the gap in the hedge up the road. Before his son can even begin his I'm sorry speech, his dad's run, his dad runs to him, throws his arms around him, and can't stop kissing him. Let's have a party, his dad shouts. My boy's home. He ran away. I lost him, but now I have him back. Jesus told them, God is like the dad who couldn't stop loving his boy. And people are like the son who said, does my dad really want me to be happy? Jesus told people this story to show them what God is like and to show people what they are like. So they could know how, however far they ran, however well they hid, however lost they were, it wouldn't matter because God's children could never run too far, be too lost for God to find them. Two brothers, two brothers, and one of them was greedy, greedy brothers. Two brothers, and one of them was greedy, greedy. He said, Dad, I want my money, money. He was the prodigal son. The other good brother stayed on the farm to work, he work, he work. Yeah.
There will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Luke 15, 9. So the son goes to his father and says, Dad, I'm better off without you. I can look after myself. Just give me my share of your money. His father is sad, but he won't force his boy to stay, so he gives his son what he wants. The son takes the money and goes on a long, long journey to a far off country, and everything's wonderful and perfect for a while. But soon his money runs out and so do his friends. As he starts for home though, he begins to worry. All this time, what he doesn't know is that day after day, his dad has been standing on his porch, straining his eyes, looking into the distance, waiting for his son to come home. He can't stop loving him. Let's have a party, his dad shouts. My boy's home, he ran away. I lost him, but now I have him back. Jesus told them, God is like the dad who couldn't stop loving his boy. And people are like the son who said, does my dad really want me to be happy? Jesus told people this story to show them what God is like and to show people what they are like. <laughs> 